Howdy, y'all. Hello. We're at Guadalupe State Park, north of San Antonio, Texas, in the heart of the hill country. And I know that y'all are expecting us to go to Big Bend. We saw a lot of comments. We have been there before. We've done four vlogs on it. It is one of our favorite places in the country. So that was the plan originally. And then when the ice came and the wind, I think the wind has kind of just worn us out. So we decided to go in an area where there is no wind and there's no wind here. So that is great. We're in the mix of trees. So we had to get out of there. We've never been to hill country. We need to just do hill country. And we've been way. to Big Ben three or four like times. Four times. Yeah. So we love Big Ben. If you want to see our videos on it, we'll put them below. Go watch them. They're awesome. Well, yeah, we do need to finally hit the hill country. I know he did the Fredericksburg, but we really have never been here besides Fredericksburg. And Fredericksburg was our very first time. And we'd never been to San Antonio until yesterday when we were mm -hmm. driving through. Yeah, San Antonio is pretty cool. Huge, big city. It's, it's been beautiful. We love yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it is very beautiful here. This, I think this park, when we got here last night, I was just like in very good spirits because it's just really beautiful. It reminds us of uh, like New Out Mexico West. because yeah. all these cedars, all these small cedars here. Or there's some uh, small oaks. Uh, that's an oak over there but all these small cedars it reminds us of that or some places that we've visited in the washita's up on the top of the mountains way up, way up at the very tip top like mountain mountains. magazine or oak mountain yeah or... real short dwarf trees a lot of cedars mm -hmm. and a lot of rock that all this rock looks like something up in the uh, springfield plateau of the ozarks but besides that kelly's about to cook something she's never cooked before yeah i'm gonna make a breakfast pizza This is phenomenal. This is, why have we never done this? I don't know. We have never done this until now. This is something that has to be done all the time now. But I fried my egg because I'm a loser and I don't like that kind of egg. So that kind of egg is basically you're supposed to be your sauce because there's no sauce on it, but it's good like with a fried egg too. What kind of bread is this? Non bread. You can, you can make homemade dough like I usually do, but being in the morning, you have to let it rise for an hour. And you know, we ain't got time for that. We don't get up early enough for that. Man, if you did this with your own dough though, that'd mm. be solid too. Mm -hmm. I had to come down and do our little morning routine at the bathroom. And you know how we are about bathrooms at campgrounds. Kelly, tell them how amazing this bathroom is. This bathroom, we should show you at night cause it's lit up, but let me just show you right now. This is one of the best bathrooms that we have ever used look at that it's like i'm walking into some sort of someone's home or something but all these lights are lit up at night so pretty you have the men's the women's and then four showers so we like these kind of showers because cody and i can go in there together and get done quicker take a shower at the same time so much easier we, all, we use the same hair and body stuff, so it's just easier that way. And with some of that good old Texas rock that Kelly wants to build yes! a house out of. I love this rock. All this rock is like traditional from Texas. This is Texas rock. Love it. And even in Arkansas, I want to build my house out of that. I don't care. We're going to have it imported from Texas. Since we got here late yesterday, we have to go up front and register, let them know we're here, even though they know we're here. But we have to get a little tag for our vehicle that you put in the window, which you've probably seen in all the other vlogs. A lot of times at night, they lock the gate at 10, so they give you a code so that you can get back in if you leave for the day and it's late when you get back. So that's what we're doing right now. The visitor center is closed right now until one o'clock and it is 1230. 
So what we're about to do is what we were originally going to do anyways, explore this park on the saddle and not a horse. No, our good old mountain bikes. Oh yeah. So we're about to get those out and roll around this place and see what we can see. And we'll check in while we're riding, go up there and get our little sticker for our windshield. Bikes ready, Kelly's done yoga. Let's roll. Ready? This park is beautiful and we really got to see the true beauty of it by actually going for a mountain bike ride. That was so cool. Yeah, it was very pretty. But just being back at camp, or this camp spot is just so beautiful to me. It is just very enjoyable. Very nice campground. Out of all the camp spots, uh, I don't know, Corpus Lake, Corpus Christi was pretty so, nice. But what I like more about this one is we have trees surrounding us so we have more privacy. Even if we had another camper show up there, there we have still have more privacy corpus christi was more open there wasn't a lot of shrubbery or trees it was just a few trees that were at our camp so i i like both they're in two different regions anyway so just depending on where you're traveling at this one's a pretty one and we're tree people yeah we love you our don't trees realize how much you miss the trees because you want to go to the desert because you like the desert but then you don't realize how much you miss the trees until you're around trees and we've met people that are tr desert people that don't like trees and they feel claustrophobic because they're so used to seeing the great open vast mm -hmm. views of the desert so they're the complete I like opposite to feel cuddled and trees make me feel cuddled like um our tent is just it's wrapped up you know what i mean it's just so it's just really private I don't know. yeah That's I, I, like, I like my trees but i guess we're not done that really wasn't enough of a workout for us so i think we're actually gonna work out now <laughs> yeah one more workout
I had to take a shower in that beautiful, nice shower. And guess what? It's not the stream, it's the spray. Oh yeah, it's a good shower. It is a full on shower, shower head. It's not just like a little poop. But besides that beautiful shower, Kelly's about to start cooking something for dinner. And it's something that she has not cooked on the vlog. The last time she cooked this, we had a home. Yeah, I think it was in the house. But I usually, you've seen me do the beef bourguignon. This is your old school beef stew that I'm fixing to make. And this is some really good grass-fed stew meat. They had it at H-E-B. I'm going to coat it with flour and then we're gonna sear it in that pan over there. We got some oil in the skillet. I'm gonna put a little extra. I was trying to get every drop of this oil. I have another bottle, don't worry. I'm gonna do salt, pepper. I'm gonna have to probably do my meat in two batches. And are you just browning those? Yep. Just brown it. Right now, I'm waiting on the second batch of meat. And while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up an onion. I'm gonna check on the meat. Oh. So the first batch is already done, like she said, and she put it in here. And that's the last batch. Yeah. The smell is overpowering. When you're hungry, it makes it that much worse. But the patience comes from the fact that Kelly loves cooking. Hey, speaking of that, many of y'all have been asking, Cody, why don't you ever cook for Kelly? It's because I can't cook. <laughs> it's just, I'm just gonna say that it's that. simple as that. No, when we had a house and we had a smoker, that's where he did all his cooking with smoking meat. But we don't have a smoker. So. Many of you might not know this, but before we started camping all the time, I was trying to figure out what kind of hobby to get myself into since Kelly didn't like being outside. My dad had a custom smoker built. I think I showed you on a vlog where we were cooking, uh, what was it, turkey? We had like a ham? It was a ham. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all saw that smoker. Well, Pops lived in an apartment at the time and he had nowhere to put it. So it ended up in my backyard in Texarkana and it ended up going with me to Little Rock. And we've also smoked some really other cool stuff like the rear end of a deer. Wow, Kelly. Oh, I forgot about that. How freaking awesome was that deer? Oh yeah, that was really good. That was delicious. Oopsie. So that's the last batch going into the pressure cooker. Many of you that are new to the channel might not know, but this is a Afghan pressure cooker. It's an old school pressure cooker. There's no timer. It just uses heat over an open flame. And we get this from mengrills.com. So we'll make sure to put the link below for this product. I think the most common thing Kelly has cooked for y'all on this is the beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon, spaghetti. Um, I just like to cook anything that normally, like this would take two hours to cook, but in the pressure cooker, you're gonna cut that down at least by half, if not more. There is no difference between putting it on the flame or on a stove top. It actually, actually, I think it works better on a stove top. I think it works better just like anything else because you can, you can control the heat. You can control the flame. Um, so now I've got some garlic and I'm just gonna chop that up. So as I was telling you about the pressure cooker, I completely missed that she threw the onions into the skillet. Are you just gonna make those fragrant? Uh, I'm gonna kind of, well, until they're translucent. And then I'm gonna add this in. in. The smell of like caramelized or cooking onions or cooked onions is one of the most underrated smells. Like I wouldn't want it as a candle or a body fragrance, but as a cooked meal, it's really, really delicious. All right, so now we got some fresh rosemary. about ready we're gonna put that in the pressure cooker all that's gonna go in here it smells so good I'm gonna add some wine into this pot just to kind of get all this extra stuff out oh 
else is going in here? So I have beef broth. And I, they didn't have my brand, but get what you can get, I guess. And just stir it all around. So I have one bay leaf. I'm going to add that in there. So we're going to let this cook for about, let's do 15 minutes. I'm not going to start the timer until I hear um, pressure coming out of the valves. That's an important thing. And I'm also going to put oil in this pan to heat it up and wipe it out since I had wine in there. I don't want to leave that in there. And I'm just kind of re-seasoning because wine is very acidic and this is metal. So I, I want to wipe it out. So the steam is coming out of the pressure cooker now and that is the sign we were looking for to start the timer for the 15 minutes. And Kelly is over here. Honey, what have you got going on? So I've cut up some potatoes and some carrots. Add that in there. Once it's done, my hands are freezing. And so I put them under Cody's shirt and starts freaking out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have hot hands. So now I need to get those whipped up. Where she actually touched me, it sucked the heat out of my body. And now the size of my body feel like ice. My hands Thank are you. so cold. We had 15 minutes hit up. And we're going to remove these and let this steam come out before you open it. And I've told y'all once before, do not open this until all the seams out or it will blow up in your face and kill you. Is that going to do you. something to Ronnie? That's fine. It's not doing anything to that. That's fine. It's cold up here. Okay. Yeah. It's just going to make this smell really good. It's going to smell like beef. Don't try that at home. Don't do that. I was just, I was just testing. Don't do as I do. Yeah, it's fine. So once all the steam is released, we're going to add in the potatoes, the carrots, and we're going to cook. I'm going to give a check in this, then I'll judge either 15 or 20 minutes for the potatoes and the carrots. So we'll see. And she's going to be making some bread. I <laughs> like a bread. But it's this bread. Oh yeah, yeah. So she's not making bread. She's heating up some bread or toasting bread. All right. This is almost ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's it saying, Cody? What is it telling you? <laughs> Tell me. Yes. It farted. <laughs> That's what it did. All right. It's kind of warm. I'm messing up my new table now. I won't. What it do? It's steam, man. I Here. try keeping that ring from coming back and it burnt my hand. Hold that. All right. So I can do it on man, it looks serious, okay. girl. Here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to throw all this in, which looks like quite a bit. Cody told me he wanted that many. And knowing good and well, are we even going to eat all this? Because I want that cake. <laughs> if it was just me, I'd eat that, take that cake and go to bed. We haven't told you, but we got a... Uh... We got a little treat from H-E-B. It's a big treat. It's not little. <laughs> it's the size of my head. Oh, boy. All right. And because of all the goodies, what I'm going to do is add more broth. That's why I cut it in half. I wanted to check the moisture. Or add more broth. Okay, and we're off. Oh, Kelly. What? No, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put a hole in your... In your... Okay. You to put a hole? Yeah. No. A little, little bit of a hole. Oh, it's fine. Okay. That could have been bad. Okay, let's do 15 minutes once it starts. Um... Once it starts doing that. All right, will do. All right, it's been another 15 minutes. I will not make the same mistake I made earlier. Smells that's good. What, that's what I was trying to get off was this earlier. That's okay. why I burnt myself. Hold okay. That. Okay. 
Oh, well, that's good. I almost thought, ooh, I might have put too much broth, but I think it's good. All right, last thing that we need to add in here are these peas. And we're not going to pressure cook the peas. We're just going to boil it. Okay. And I can't open it. Do you have your knife? Yes, um, right there. Grab it. Okay. Slide, slide that thing right there. Right, right there. Slide that. There you go. Just put it. Nope. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you have it. All right. So I'm not going to use the whole bag of peas, obviously. I believe it's ready. Ooh, it looks good. It smells good. Ooh, gives me goosebumps. Look at that. Is it good? It's good. Mm. On a cool night, it's probably 40 degrees right now. Those peas are good. Oh, this is solid. This is solid. My mm. dad's always like, I don't ever eat any vegetables. There's peas to dab. We're getting our veggies. Your dad really says that? Nick. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> Come on, brother. You know. Have you tried the meat? No. Oh my God, it's like melting your mouth. Is it that good? Yeah. Nick, you, you've seen us cook dishes that were all vegetable. Is that the meat right there? It's very tender. Very tender. I'm trying to find it. It's like roast beef in yeah. there. It turned out like roast beef. Is that not amazing or what? Men Grills pressure cooker. I tell you what. Yeah, if you want to speed up a recipe, usually they say this is better the next day, which it will be. But it's really good right now because of the pressure cooker. Whenever you have your food set over, it kind of melts together and, and gets a little bit more uh, rich in flavor. But with a pressure cooker like that, like that Afghan pressure cooker, it forces it. It's like just saying, you're going to be this way. Mm -hmm. And it pushes all this humidity where when you cook with a pot, it allows moisture and everything to escape, and it only gets as hot. I learned this in a chemistry class when I went to college. Water gets to a boiling point, and it never goes past that boiling point. It never increases in temperature. The only way to get moisture to continue to increase in temperature once it hits the boil point is to put a cap on it, and it can't go anywhere. And that's where a pressure cooker comes in. So it makes that, that little particle of water just just becomes steam and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and it starts going through every single piece of food in that pressure cooker and breaks it down even more which is the same process you would have if you let it set overnight so you're doing it in like 20 30 minutes i will say this the first time i made this was not in a pressure cooker it was in a regular pot over the stove and it took me two hours this is better Oh, and those potatoes are so mm -hmm. soft. Wow. We're, we're jamming on this. We're going to continue to jam on this. Just wait until you see what we have for uh, dessert. <laughs> I did not make it, by the way. Oh, no, no. Kelly does not do uh, dessert out here. So you think half? Oh, yeah. I mean, that whole piece is the size of my head. Look at that. Half is still a lot. Oh, yeah. That's what we're eating. That's what we're eating. Good lord. So that is some kind of amazing three-layer chocolate thing from heaven. Not real sure, but we are about to indulge on this and enjoy a little little telly. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning.
the most chill, relaxing, just peaceful days we've had probably in a in a long minute, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been nice. What? It's been peaceful, relaxing. Good oh day. yeah, this has been a great temperatures. This is like perfect day. It's been phenomenal. By the way, I didn't catch anything. Didn't even get a bite. Asked some other gentlemen that were out there fishing. They hadn't gotten by it either. But it was still worth it. One of the cool things about state parks is that you can fish for free without a license. Even if you're an out-of-state resident, you can go up to any bank in state parks. If you go outside the property boundaries of the state park, you've got to get a fishing license. For instance, when we were at Corpus Christi Lake State Park, we were allowed to fish without a license on the banks. But when we put our boats on the water and got out on the main water, we had to go to go get a fishing license so that we could fish. That's the kind of rules they have here, which is pretty neat. Because in Arkansas, you have to have a fishing license to 
fish on state property as well. But Kelly and I are gonna walk, knock out one quick workout because we're trying to make sure we get our workouts in before we leave tomorrow and spend all day driving. As many of you have asked, do you wanna know what we used to work out with? Uh, our main source of working out is our weights. We like to weight train. So we have a pair of Select Tech dumbbell weights that go up to 50 pounds each. We also have a weight bench, which you need if you're going to do chest, um, abs, and sometimes legs. So this weight bench, it folds up really nicely to store away. This is why we selected this bench. And it is very good quality and is very comfortable as in the seating is really comfy it's thick and it can adjust to decline it can adjust to incline and so can this side of it with the leg holder the brand of this weight bench is flybird and we'll list them below if you're interested in the weight bench it is a, for a really good price and like i said it stores away really quickly this is their logo here i also like to use a pair of I have a medium and a heavy glute resistance bands. I like to use those when I do legs. Of course, we both have yoga mats. This right here, a lot of people ask about this mat. This mat came from Academy in their workout section. Uh, we had one in our house in our gym before we sold everything. And then we got a new one, of course, when everything was stolen. So they still have these at Academy. Uh, I think it's only like 30 bucks. It's under 50 for sure. But I like it just for extra cushion when I'm doing yoga or any other kind of workouts. I like that extra padding underneath me. And of course we also do cardio. So many forms of cardio. Cody likes to run. I particularly don't like to run. I like to do agility workouts on the mat, something like that. So I do incorporate in cardio. I'm sure you've only seen me do weight training on the videos, but I do like to do cardio and abs and all that as well. We're not gonna bore you with another workout today, but we're gonna get one in real quick and then we'll see you guys at dinner. Man, there was something in there. Make sure you don't kill. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a ton of these at this campground. This is probably, we've seen armadillos everywhere in the South, but this is the most we've ever seen. And this is the closest we've ever been to an armadillo when we're awake. Normally they're the loudest things that we hear at night. And when we first started camping, Kelly was freaking out because if you can hear, that's a lot of sound. That's a lot of noise. Kelly, how much this used to freak you out at night? I mean, gosh, it, could, it sounds like it could be a bear, but it's not, it's just an armadillo. Oh, I'm sure y'all can see we have our smaller tent up. We've actually been putting this tent up every time now because it holds the heat in better so we can have our heater in there going all night and it keeps it pretty warm. We're going to use that tent for a while. See how good it does. But I'm done working out. Cody's almost done working out. We're going to go take a shower and then we're going to go do dinner. I feel like we have a pet now. I really feel like we have a pet armadillo. It, we went to take a shower and I told Kelly, I was like, I wonder if her buddy's still here. Mm -hmm. And I've almost felt like it should be running up excited like a puppy dog when we returned because it missed us. And it was still here. So we have a pet. I'm going to name it Alfred. Alfred. Does it look like an no, Alfred? not Alfred for a pet. Jimmy? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll think of a name. Let's think of a name. Kelly and I are really digging this campground. Yeah, it's really nice. We really like, just, I mean, look at the trees. It, there's trees, <laughs> I love trees. But tonight, Kelly is gonna be cooking something delicioso. What are you cooking, Angel Prince? So I don't think I've ever made this for y'all before, but I'm gonna make baked potato soup. <laughs>
Good morning, y'all. Good morning. We have already packed up camp and we have loved Guadalupe State Park. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. It's probably our favorite state park so far so besides far. Big Bend Ranch State Park. Yeah. We, that's our other favorite, but this, it's on up there. Yeah. Oh, and we finally figured out a name for the armadillo. We stayed up all night thinking about it and it's Andy the armadillo. Andy. Andy. Bye Andy. Bye Andy. We don't know where Andy is. He hasn't been here all morning. However, we'll catch you on the other. Peace.